Pfizer shares are up 12%, Steve Weiss, over the past 12, uh, six months. And options traders are betting on more gains ahead. John's over the Telestrator. Pete's joining us live from Minneapolis. Apologies, gentlemen, for the interruptions from uh, the desk here. But, uh, <laughs> John, Not we're going to go to you first. Steve is unstoppable, Mel. Uh, take, so is Pfizer, by the way. It's made a nice move. It's going to continue, I believe. And more importantly, Somebody is looking for the stock maybe to test back to about that 47 level that it was at in November. So what, what were they doing today, Mel? They were coming into Pfizer and they're buying calls aggressively out in February. So February 43 calls, um, they make a lot of money if the stock returns back towards that 47 area because stock's 42 and a half right here. So just out of the money, love that bet. I joined them in on this one. I'll probably be in this trade 15 to 20 days, Mel. All right. Thanks for that, John. And Pete, what are you watching? Yeah. I'm looking at Macy's, Mel, and here's the interesting thing. At the end of December, actually December 21st, we had unusual activity in here where they were buying the January 27 puts. Well, those absolutely scored for those that were buying those puts because that 25,000 of those, that was when the stock was trading 30, dropped all the way down towards that 25 level after we got that holiday report and everybody was so negative about the stock. It was trading around 25. It has not made a very huge recovery yet, but on Wednesday they were buying next week's expiring 25 strike calls those already went from 14 cents to 46 cents since uh, Wednesday when they bought those now they're selling those and we're seeing buyers coming up and buying 20,000 again of the January 25th expiring 26 calls so those are pretty active today very very active I had to jump on that Mel I like when I see this this is a trader who's been right and looks like by the size and sort of the style of the trades that the put buyer was also the call buyer and now today's call buyer as well. Now I got a quick update for you as well, Mel. Freeport McMoran, we talked about this one on Tuesday. Well, that stock's made a pretty nice rally since Tuesday to the upside. And as it's done so, the calls that we cited, the January next week's expiring 12 and a half calls have more than doubled. I think they've actually tripled by now on this move to the upside. And they're still buying. They're actually going up towards the March 13 calls. But this is a trade that we liked on Tuesday, jumped into it. I'm out. I have not not bought the March calls yet. I'm going to be staring at those the rest of the day. But just as an update, those calls from Tuesday have doubled, maybe tripled since that buying. So you got to take some of those profits off the table. You got to be disciplined in this market. Yeah,